Taurus, welcome to your tarot card reading. This is your energy for September. And the first thing I was hearing is wake the fuck up. Okay? Wake up. I feel like there is something like just right in front of you. It's maybe information. It's clarity. It's like hidden information that has finally come forward. I also feel like there's an opportunity to rebalance something in your life. Maybe it's like balancing out the divine masculine and feminine energies. So maybe up until now you've been working way too hard and not taking enough rest. Um, maybe you have not been taking enough time just for yourself or to rebalance out your body. I'm also hearing maybe a lot of you are feeling a little bit exhausted, mentally exhausted, emotionally exhausted. I feel like you've been trying to chase something and you can't get your answers. You, you can't get the clarity. It, it's like, I feel like for some of you, or maybe it's another person you're dealing with, but they're just kind of running in circles. And it's like, the door is right there. Like there's a door right there. There's a key right there. It's like the key's already in the door and open. It, like, I just, I feel like, like I've got this king of wands. I've got an ace of wands. And then I have a two of cups. But then I have... This seven of coins and this four of cups, and then a five of cups. Six of swords reverse. It's like you or someone you are dealing with, you have an opportunity right now to take action in a new way. And I'm hearing this is not gonna happen again for a while. Like you have an opportunity now or very soon, I would say over the next like six to eight weeks to really shift something in your life. Maybe it's leaving a job, moving to a new country. Maybe it's um, breaking up with a partner. Um, maybe it's establishing a new business. It's something. But like, if you don't take this opportunity, if you just miss it and let it go, then like, it's not going to come back around for a while. And I, I feel like this is something that internally you know you need to do because it will lead you to a more fulfilling life. You will feel more satisfied. You will feel more grounded you will feel more like yourself more independent and free you'll feel more excited it's like your life is gonna have this like plug-in of like energy it's just gonna expand or you can stay stuck in the same thing and you can hear that calling and go do something different but it's like no 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 i'll just i'll just stay here and then you're just gonna cycle through the same shit again and i feel like there's this overall energy I'm just like, we're focusing on the disappointment. We're focusing on what we're losing. We're focusing on the issues. We're focusing on the problems. We're focusing on all of the negative things. We're focusing on what could go wrong. We're focusing on all the bullshit. And it's like, stop. You're an earth energy. You're a fixed earth energy. And I feel like you need to just like stop investing into the negative what if, what if, what if story and start investing in the like, what if? Wow, look at all of these amazing things that could possibly happen. Look at all these doors opening. Look at these new horizons, these new connections, these new relationships, these new opportunities, collaborations, jobs, love, experiences, cultures, travel. Like there's there's two sides to the same coin. And like one is like, oh my God, what could happen? And the other one is, wow, what could happen? Like what could happen? And it's like, there's exciting or there's like, oh, uh, and it's like, you're focusing on the, oh, uh, and it's like, why? Because what? Because you have old programs in the back of your mind telling you that everything's going to get fucked up, that you're never going to be able to do it. You have imposter syndrome. You're not good enough. You're, you don't deserve good things or whatever. It, it's just like this bullshit story. Like, and I'm sorry, like we've talked about this a few motherfucking times and I'm just like, Taurus, like, wake up. It's like, you are a fixed earth energy. So I understand that like, it's a little bit hard. It's challenging for you to, to leave these things, but you also have Jupiter in Taurus right now, which is expanding so many opportunities and things for you, which is beautiful and expansive and, and a lot of good luck. But what it's also doing is showing you where you continue to keep yourself stuck and, and how you continue to invest into things that don't really benefit you. And it's like, that is just gonna continue getting louder and louder and louder. And now you have an opportunity to, to stop investing and to open a new door. And if you can open that new door and go through it, then you're going to find that there's a lot of new amazing things waiting for you on that side. But if you don't, then whatever your issues are now, 
So maybe you're still struggling with this relationship or you're just continually obsessing about like issues in your life, your health, your, your, and not to say like, yeah, maybe some of you have like actual, you know, serious health things that you're trying to figure out and like, that's fine. But like, also maybe you're just like me and you just think that like, you're constantly falling apart and there's always something wrong with your body and there's always something wrong with both. And it's just like, at some point I just need to say like, everyone tells me I'm healthy. All the doctors say I'm good. Like, whatever. I'm just going to trust. I can close my eyes and jump. I'm going to focus on something different now. It's like, I'm not going to continue to tell myself the same story over and over and over and over and over and over just because I choose to believe it. It's like, well, what is fact and what is you are just believing it. And if you just want to continue to believe something, maybe it's that someone is a good person or that you'll never find better opportunities or you'll never find better connections or love or that you can't afford to move because I just can't afford it. I can never afford it. I can't afford it. Whatever the fucking story is in your mind. Like, if you want something, you can make it happen. You can make it happen and the universe will support you. And the universe is asking you to take that jump and to go. But I feel like there's this overall focus on everything that you're losing, on all the fear. And it's just like, this is fucking exhausting just to look at again. So it's like, I can only imagine how exhausting bleh, it is for you to continue to live in that energy. And it's just like, you need to learn a new way. You need to learn a new um, perspective so that you can apply all of the learning that you've had up until now and you can start to integrate it. It's like, we just finished the Venus retrograde. You are ruled by Venus. Like Venus is your ruling planet. So like that should have brought forward and we still have a few more weeks of like strong Venus influence. So there's going to be a lot of other planets that are working with Venus to teach you like more about what you really want, who you really are, what you really deserve, um, what your value system looks like now, how you can find more opportunities for connections, love, work, how you want to spend your money, spend your time, um, how you want to earn your money. It, it, like, and again, I feel like, like I have the Queen of Pentacles here. I have the Five of Cups here. I have a Five of Wands here. The Star Reverse, Temperance Revert, like. It just, it all feels a little bit disheveled and upside down. And it's like, I want to give you grace and I want you to give yourself grace because there's a lot changing, but I want you to give yourself a chance for a new reality. And you can't find that new reality when you're stuck in this old story over and over and over again, right? So this moment in time where we still have Mercury retrograding and I have a Mercury retrograde workshop. It's in the Virgo season workshop. So you get both for $11. It's now 50% off. Okay. I'm going to tag it in the products below. You'll see a little button. Click that, watch that workshop because this Mercury retrograde is happening in Virgo. Virgo is an earth sign. You are also an earth sign. So there's a connection there. So this is amplified for you. And this is asking you to realign yourself and to refocus your energy on new behaviors and tasks every day that over time, small changes will equal a big shift. So this is all about like shifting the way, oh my God, there's so much shifting. There's like in the mind, it needs to shift. The mind will then influence the energy. The energy will then shift, which will then catch up externally and the world will shift. Like your world will shift. So it's like, it's in these layers, right? But it all starts in the mind because the mind, when you're talking to yourself, what you're thinking every day, that is where a lot of your energy is being invested. So that is radiating out of you and it's keeping you stuck in the same cycle. So like that is what needs to change. Now there's different ways of changing that and there's different things that you need to look at, but I would strongly suggest at least starting with the Mercury Retrograde Workshop and just understanding how this energy is affecting all of us right now and you especially because again, you're that earth energy and Mercury is retrograde in Virgo, an earth sign. So like there are people and things that, yeah, see like you have this, yeah, and here it is, it's all come crumbling down. <laughs> it's like, the longer you delay it, delay it, delay it, the universe is gonna get louder, louder, louder. They're going to force your hand and something is going to happen to force you to change and to make these changes because you keep delaying it. So it's like, take this opportunity to 
learn something new, try something new, shift how you do things. And I know, again, you're a fixed earth energy, so it's harder for you to shift things, but you can do it. And when you decide to be that fucking loyal, like you are so loyal, you are one of the most loyal signs in the whole zodiac wheel. So it's like, if and when you decide to shift something and commit to that shift, it's done. But it takes time for you to get there and to make that change. So use this Mercury retrograde energy to help shift that mindset, okay? I love you. I hope this helps. You have so much support and resource. I am here for you. That Mercury retrograde workshop will be really helpful. Click below, watch it anytime. You can download it, um, I think from Instagram, you'll see it. Send this to another Taurus. Share this on your Instagram story. I support you. You support me. These are free. So please share, please send them out and share them. Um, I love you. I'll see you very soon. Taurus, my little bull. We'll get through this. I promise. Okay? You got it.